on in local netball, South Lions bounced back from last week's grand final replay loss to West by hammering Nova Thunder. The teams were fairly even in the opening quarter. Goal shooting sisters Tiffany Gilmore for South and Katrina Tresseter for Nova going blow for blow in the opening term. But it was the Lions who roared ahead in the second, extending their lead to 16 and never looking back. It ended as a comfortable win, while Forsyth also got up. West won, remained on top after winning the intra-club derby, and Maryville beat BNC. Edgeworth showed no signs of an FFA Cup hangover, beating Lake Macquarie 2-0 in the NPL this afternoon. Don Mazzari finished Jamie Burns' strong run for the Eagles' first goal, before Burns turned scorer, as this for an effort, running onto Josh Lowe's huge kick, chipping the keeper, and heading home off the upright. Meanwhile, it was a tough day for the Jets' youth side in Hong Kong, going down in all three of its games at the Sevens tournament. They lost 3-0 to Scottish Giants' Glasgow Rangers, 3-1 to Newcastle United after the Magpies scored an own goal, before a last-minute 2-1 loss to the host club. Kieran Hayes was the only Jet to find the back of the net. The tournament's finals are held tomorrow, but Newcastle won't be taking part. The two Blues have posted a mammoth 99-point win over a helpless Lake Macquarie side in local rugby this afternoon. The Hawks beat University by a smaller margin. Maitland down Singleton and Merriweather has cemented its lead on top of the ladder, beating Nelson Bay. A top-of-the-table clash at Townsend Oval, the Greens facing off against the Marlins. Despite injury forcing a number of personnel changes in Merriweather's forward pack, they impressed early, doing the hard work for the opening points. Fly half Sam Bryant made it 10-0 with the boot before Ramirez Smiler pushed that margin out even further. Yeah. Merriweather leading 17-0. But the bay didn't go away. Daniel Collins got the ball rolling with this determined effort. Before the Marlins added another after half time, Chad Northcott's huge cutout ball producing points in the corner. Northcott added the extras to reignite hope for the Bay, but Merriweather wouldn't be caught. Another try, then this 40-metre penalty goal did the job. The Greens' outstanding start to the campaign rolling on. The Black Diamond AFL side has been hammered in its annual representative outing, beaten 127-57 to by Canberra this afternoon. The Black Diamond side fell behind early and didn't do itself any favours with the boot in the opening quarter. And from there, Canberra didn't look back, racing away for a comfortable win. It's a tough result for the Hunter Rep side after pushing the highly fancied Sydney competition right to the wire last year. And it was a mixed day for Lake Macquarie driver Charlotte Pointing on the Aussie Racing Car Series. She finished 11th in this morning's first race and didn't finish the second, but at least she fared better than Grant Thompson. That is massive. Absolutely massive. Unbelievably, he was left with just the shell of his car. Thankfully, he was okay. And Jane, that is absolutely incredible. Gee, I don't know how brave they must be. Yeah, thankfully, everything's okay with yeah, him, though. Bet. Thank you, Sam. Stay with us. We'll check all the weather details next. by the Burton family, Maitland and Port Stephens Toyota. Call in for their best prices on new Toyotas and pre-owned vehicles. Weather time now, a weekend of cold nights, frosty mornings and bright sunny days. Pretty typical for this time of year as we approach winter. A spectacular bird's eye view of Newcastle's canoe pool and ocean baths at sunset. Thanks to Matt Osborne for posting this drone shot onto our website, nbnweathershots.com.au. To the satellite, low cloud lingering over inland New South Wales and cool southwest winds is only causing the odd light shower. Fog patches should develop overnight and clearer skies over the northern New South Wales and along the coast in drier winds, leading to a cool day and chilly nights ahead. On the synoptic chart, a front cross crossing Tasmania looks to generate further showers and highland snow. Moist onshore winds look to cause showers along the northern Queensland coast. A high in the south will bring sunny and settled conditions. 
areas of morning frost about the pa and patchy fog about the upper hunter this morning, followed by a mostly sunny afternoon. 7 to 19, the range for Newcastle today. 12 to 20 in Nelson Bay. A, a minimum of just zero in Cessnock with a top of 21. 3 to 21 for Scone. Tomorrow, sunny with areas of fog about the lower hunter in the early morning and frost in the upper hunter. Temperature-wise, a top of 19 for Newcastle tomorrow, 18 at Nelson Bay, 20 the top for Toronto, Cessnock and Singleton, a range of just 3 to 19 for Scone and Mararundi. Coastal waters information sees at a metre and a half with a two metre swell, winds becoming southwesterly up to 20 knots. Sunrise at 6.38, sunset at 5pm and the outlook for Newcastle Monday sunny and temperatures in the low 20s for the week ahead, a top of 22 for Monday and Wednesday. In Scone, chilly mornings this week, dipping to 3 degrees for the next couple of days, a top of 21 on Monday and for Gosford, low 20s for much of the week. And head to our Facebook page for more news. And that's our bulletin for this evening. Apparently there's a big wedding tonight, <laughs> Sam. So we take you now to coverage of the royal wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. From all of us here, good night.